Hello, everybody. Jimmy Hopkins in Knoxville. I want to talk to you today about one of the fundamentals of the golf swing called balance. And I want to read you something to start with out of, I want to give you a better understanding of how important the balance and the weight shift is in the golf swing. I want to read something out of, in my last lesson, I read something out of the PJ Teaching Manual, The Art and Science of Golf Instruction. Very good book. It has a lot of input in it from some very, very good teachers. But I want to read something, and in the PGA they call it dynamic balance. Uh, but I want to read something out of this book. It says, being able to transfer the weight by using one's feet and legs correctly is so high on the scale of golf priorities that it is senseless to offer a pupil further instruction until he can accomplish a basic weight shift. Why? What does dynamic balance contribute to a golf swing? Using the legs properly does three vital things in a golf swing. It provides a platform for the rotation of the body and the swinging of the arms. It adds impetus to the total movement. This is the one I like. It places the body in a position to strike the ball with a club face that is traveling in the right direction at the correct angle of attack. These things are important for solid contact, for ball compression. And those shots that you hit that you top and hit with the leading blade in the equator, a lot of times that's from a lack of weight shift or the wrong kind of weight shift. It's very important, as the book says, don't give your pupil any further instruction until you can learn the proper weight shift. But the golf swing works a lot like throwing a baseball, rolling a bowling ball, hitting a tennis ball. If you do it properly, you get the weight moving toward the target and the release of the object you have, ball or racket, whatever it is, comes right at the impact point as it would in golf. But I want to give you some tips on how to get the balance moving forward, moving at the right time. A lot of teachers tell you to keep your head still. I don't mind if the head moves two foot backwards. If it goes backwards on the back swing and forward on the forward swing, level or moving down on the downswing. When Tiger Woods hits the golf ball, even when he's hitting his driver, you'll notice on his downswing, the head is going down, down and through. Ben Hogan did it best. He said he liked to take two divots, one with his club head and one with his knuckles, all the way down and through. With every club, but the driver, this is the way it should be, down and through. But a good weight shift helps us accomplish this down and through move. In my last lesson, check it out, it was on the grip. The importance of a good grip can help us get the weight moving in the right direction at the right time. Practice throwing some balls. This move is the same weight transfer. If you were pitching a ball, you wouldn't want to step toward the catcher when you threw the ball. This is the same thing that happens when I see the head moving backwards on the downswing. You get what's called a reverse pivot. Take that club set up. Pick that right foot up. Back in the old days, and nowadays it's a little different, but back in the old days, you used to see a lot of the guys when they took the swing back, they raised this heel up off the ground, and then they planted that heel when they went down. It's not so much anymore. Most of us are keeping our foot on the ground flat. But Jack Nicholas, Tom Watson, some of the older players, when they went back, they had this heel up and they slammed that heel down when they went down. This helped them get the weight moving in the right direction. This wouldn't be bad to practice, but whatever you can do to get the weight moving forward is going to help your ball contact. It's easier, and, and another tip I'll give you, it's easier to pull weight than it is to push it. Oftentimes when we try to push something, we get a reaction for that action. Something wants to go the opposite direction. Most of these guys on the tour have the left side doing a lot more in their golf swing than people realize. It's easier to pull that way. And I say this in a lot of my lessons. Back when I was a kid, we only had rear wheel drive cars. In the 70s came a gas shortage. They started making front wheel drive cars. Scientifically, they figured out it was easier to pull the weight than it was to push it. You'll get this weight timed better and you'll get it moving in the right direction better if you learn to pull with the left arm and left hand it's also going to give you a better chance to get the club in an impact position that will compress the golf ball by coordinating and teaching the left side what it feels like to lead the club it's going to increase the speed in the left hand and in the left side it's going to take a little bit of the dominance out of the right side 
because the left side don't know what it's supposed to be doing. Hit you some balls with your left hand, allowing it to pull the weight. That'll help you. Work on these things and remember the importance of the weight shift. Like I said, throw some balls. This will help you understand what's going on. Get your weight moving toward the target, down and through, and not up and through. Check the grip lesson out I gave last time. Pretty good grip lesson. Talks about the importance of the weight moving and how the grip can affect the body move. I guess that's it. Work on these things and I'll get back with you. I know if you work on them, they'll help you. That's one thing that has to happen. You have to practice. Somebody gives you some tips and you don't practice, don't affect anything. Okay, thanks a lot. Hit man.